So I handle uh, the incubation innovation activity at IIT Kanpur. We are the largest technology business incubator in the country with close to 150 startups. We have uh, uh, run some agriculture activities. Uh, we were the initially uh, partner with India uh, Agriculture Innovation Network, which was funded by Social Alpha, that is Startup Trust and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So we had around 40 startups in that. Uh, now, being one of the uh, key incubators, we have number of IIT, uh, agri startups. So I will give a glimpse about what IIT is doing. I will also share with you some of the activities which is happening around the world, why agri tech is so important. And then we can open up for a Q&A, something we will learn and something you will learn. So let me start. So why innovation in agriculture is so important? Everybody's talk about agri, 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 but when it comes actually to the form, it's quite challenging. So let me ask you one question. We are close to now 75, 80 people sitting in this room. How many of us actually gone to the farm? Nice. So close to 40% of the crowd has gone to the farm. Whereas 60% of them certainly know about agriculture, certainly are keen to learn about innovation, but they're now going to the farm. So it's like, uh, it's a challenging task, I would say. Certainly, uh, my request would be that, you know, kindly spend a day, maybe in next one year, going to actual farm and seeing that what's happening in agriculture. So that's, we will able to appreciate that why innovation in agriculture is so important. So there is a high dependency on agriculture. So we eat almost three to four, five, four times a day. Majority of the Indian population, 80% of the Indian population do that. It's still 22% of the Indian population that does not have uh, three or four meals a day. It's quite an irony. So it's a primary produce for us, for everyone in the world. So 20% of the uh, GDP is made of agriculture. The agriculture uh, product export is almost 284,000 crores, which is quite significant. Now, there are a lot of changes happening in agri-tech. Agri so there are two types of agri-tech, agri what we see here in India. One is, of course, as a number of theorists speaks about, there is India, there is a Bharat. So Bharat is actually, which is still ruling the 80% of the agri agriculture, 20% of India, which is more corporate agriculture. For example, I was speaking to our alumni and friend Sanjeev Puri, who is also the chairman of ITC. He told me he has 5,000 acres of land which are under ITC which is huge, 5,000 acres of land, uh, but it's all corporate agriculture spread out in Andhra Telangana area, focusing on spices and other agri produce. Uh, they have land in other places also. Similarly, if you look at some of the other corporate large land owners, which is escort or even the outsiders, they still own maybe few percentage of the Indian agriculture land. So majority of the farmer land, which is a small farmer, a really, really small farmer. So over a period of generations, this large farmland, which was, was Jamindar farmland, has broken down into smaller parts because of the division in the family. And now the farmlands have become extremely small. Agriculture uh, also denotes to the other side of the spectrum about the farm suicide and other challenges. So how do we safeguard and how do we bring innovation in such a scenario where the holdings are extremely small uh, the produce is not large, farmer is really poor, and we are able to talk about the drone technology and the smart agriculture and farming. How do we do that? So that's a real challenge we have to face when we talk about why it is so important in agriculture, innovation in agriculture. Worldwide, if you look at the agriculture innovation, they are fairly expensive. It's not easy. And I'll give you certain examples after a few slides that why, what the activities we are doing and we are uh, able to bring down the, uh, I have stopped using this term like a low cost. Low cost looks like a nano effect. You know, nobody, everybody talks about it, nobody buys it. So it is a reasonable cost, affordable cost, which is there. How do we are able to bring down the innovation cost at a reasonable level so that the small farmer, which is in Marathwada region or Uttar Pradesh region, Odisha region, he's, a, he's able to afford it. And when we say affordability for people who are sitting here, we all affordability for us maybe a thousand rupees, but a small farmer's affordability means two rupees or three rupees. 
and many of the farmers run still earn 25 30 rupees a day which is still lower than the minimum wages what we see so that's the reason the agriculture innovation is so important and bringing down to the reasonable cost we all are aware about the uh, sdgs so the uh, sdg 2 which talks about zero hunger can anybody tell me how many people actually go without any meal for a day or without a proper meal a day in india not worldwide population but india any any clue in terms of percentage of population yes please 60 is approximately 22% of indian population which is below poverty line that means they don't have three meals a day and most of them have one meal a day which is not nutritious enough so 22% of indian population even by our standard we say okay 130 million is the 130 uh, 1.3 billion is indian population we are talking about 300 or 400 million people uh, the american population is 330 million so we are larger than american population which goes without one meal or two meals a day uh, in india so situation is quite critical so the, so uh, uh, how to we waste less food and how do we support the local farmers that's uh, aim for the sdg so that's what the focus is that how do we bring the reasonable cost and bring the innovation to the grassroots from the grassroots level now if you look at the majority of the technologies spend some time in this particular uh, slide so if you look at the today's available technology so today's available technologies are internet of things drone technology and there is a vertical urban farming which we call hydroponics uh, bioplastic uh, these are the things which are already happening and some of them are on the fringe of happening let's say bioplastic there is a company in iit kanpur which is working on bioplastic which is uh, uh, making plastic from chicken feather there is another company i'll give you an example which is very famous company some of you have used the products called phool which is kanpur flowers phool like agarbatti so uh, certainly recently the phool has raised uh, uh, 60 crores from alia bhat and everybody else is so they have become quite fancy uh, and uh, ranbir kapoor and everybody uses so you know so we have some glamour at, attached to iit also nowadays so uh, uh, but more than that rather than just making agarbatti what they are doing in bioplastic so you have seen the styrofoam some of you have bought some uh, uh, nice goods during the last two years be it tv or a fridge and it comes with the packaging some of them are biodegradable packaging other is a thermo thermo uh, Uh, seal which is not biodegradable or styrofoam as we call it styrofoam is the fifth largest polluter in the world and you put it in the soil it will take 1000 years to biodegrade a uh, styrofoam like thermocol now how do you create something which is biodegradable out of thermocol so what the kanpur flower has done in bioplastic that they have come up with a new technology which is they call it fluoroform a uh, styrofoam made out of flower waste and guess how many days it takes to biodegrade this particular product so next time you buy a tv you will have a fluoroform which smells nice and it is made out of temple flowers so you can do some if you are dharmic enough you can always say okay jai shiv ji jai maharaj ji then you can do that uh, and uh, it will biodegrade in th in 90 days time in 3 months time you put it in the soil it comes in contact with uh, soil uh, bacteria and will biodegrade that's the innovation uh, in bioplastic is happening there's another company which is working on environ which is working on chicken feather bioplastic same goes with chicken feather because just the feather you put it in the soil and it will biodegrade so there is a lot of innovation is happening so ready to grow to the market and then there is a futuristic technology which is uh, more related to it space nanotechnology artificial intelligence food sharing blockchain uh, 3d printing you know uh, a desert agriculture there is another company which is uh, which is not in agriculture but they are doing the flotation devices we have the and recently they have deployed a flotation device in uh, the assi ghat area in baranasi it is the world's first flotation device for cng now they are coming up with a flotation agri uh, farms so we have lot of like you know waste farm uh, wastelands uh, which there is no vegetation uh and uh, it's a waste water so you can create a flotation device 
where you can plant the trees on top of it and you can do agriculture on top of it so that is another innovation that some of the companies are working on so what we do so now we have established a fact that there is a need for agriculture reasonable uh, innovations in agriculture which can be used in a countries like india and of course can be exported out of the world because the quality of these innovations is super so what we do uh, how we are incubating some of the the startups and what we are doing so some examples i'll show you so sector wise like we have now quite a huge uh, portfolio uh, we have almost 9% of our companies out of 150 which are agriculture companies so we have uh, gone through the quite a journey from uh, tractors to the bioplastic we are doing a lot of things this is one of the uh, work recently we did by iit kanpur uh, this automatic solar composter which is 30% cheaper and order free that we did uh, this one is a revolutionary project uh, which the prime minister also spoke about recently so there is a professor uh, with us whose name is professor jayant singh he has spent 6 years in coming up with a soil testing device so he was quite uh, concerned about that why it is taking so much of time to do a soil testing and uh, normally the soil testing machines are relatively big in size and they cannot move they are very heavy is is not is not cost effective now you go to again marathwada or to uttar pradesh and say to a small farmer which is like earning 30 rupees a day ki bhaiya 2000 rupees lagega tumhare soil ki test ho jayega tumhe agle saal bahut acha produce aayega matlab this guy will go crazy ke 2000 rupees 2000 mujhe de do main kaam karna band kar dunga this is how the situation is so how do you do the soil testing for a really small farmer we are not working for itc or escorts here we are actually doing the work for the small farmer which is 80% of the farmers so we come up with a device called bhu parikshak the small device you can see is only 320 grams really small device you can take a 5 gram of soil and you can put it in the device within seconds it will give you the complete analysis of soil on your mobile phone and how much it cost it costs practically pennies you can do 250 test in a single go every it means this you don't have to replace the uh, filter and all 250 test you can put it in a backpack you can give anywhere you can cover not just one uh, village but you can cover multiple villages so now what we are doing is like we are creating village entrepreneurs which can keep take the devices and ngo can donate these devices to the village entrepreneurs so you get you are empowering the one of the village guys to do the soil testing and this data which comes in because uh, i myself have spoken to uh, unfortunately the agri secretary is not there but have spoken to the people in the agriculture ministry and all so there is a lot of loopholes that is there even they agree to that that the quality of data which is uh, gathered from the grassroots level is flawed so how do you get the right amount of data so lot of government schemes so i will not blame the government about it the government schemes are quite nice but when you are make a scheme on a based on a flawed data implementation will be flawed so that's a real challenge so what we are doing is like we are aiming that okay uh, 10% of the whole country we are able to cover in the next few years is again human task something substantial can happen so bhu parikshak can do that there is another very interesting some of you are fan of shark tank so you must have seen this guy nikki jha he is a he is a i don't want to demean but he uh, we jokes about it you know he is a real bihari or bihari bihari kind you know nikki he sir humne kuch innovation kiya hai it is like that a really brilliant guy matlab i would say one of the most brilliant person i know an iit kanpur graduate so still he don't boast speaking of uh, flawless british english or he still goes with a, his own style and doing some really remarkable work so here what he has done he has created something called a sabji koti now the real challenge with the, again small farmers is that the perishable product get perished very quickly it take few days or sometime few hours for example abhi jamun ho raha tha bahut zyada so i went to chatisgarh we have some work happening for tribal area in chatisgarh jamun jamun is the huge produce in particularly odisha chatisgarh area and jamun has to be picked picked up transported preserved and uh, and bought uh, bottled in less than 4 days time how do you do that 
बिकॉज एज सुन एज अगर जामुन पे आई लूज सम ऑफ द हिंदी वर्ड्स सम ऑफ यू मस्ट बी आई होप बोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड जामुन में अगर थोड़ा सा पानी लग जाए तो जामुन का टेस्ट खराब हो जाता है उसको आप प्रिजर्व नहीं कर सकते सेम थिंग गोज विद नंबर ऑफ क्रॉप्स सो हाउ डू यू डू दैट एंड इट इज़ नो वे दैट यू नो यू कैन क्रिएट कोल्ड स्टोरेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पावर इज नॉट देयर सेकेंड कोल्ड स्टोरेज नॉट देयर थर्ड इज लाइज सो एक्सपेंसिव फोर्थ इज इंडिया इज सच ए बिग कंट्री हाउ मेनी कोल्ड स्टोरेज वी सी फिफ्थ इज दैट वी विल वी विल बी एडिंग मोर एंड मोर कार्बन टू द एयर यू नो वी क्रिएट मोर कोल्ड स्टोरेज सो ऑल द चैलेंजेस आर देयर सो ही कम अविद टेक्नोलॉजी कॉन सब्जी कोटी इट्स अ सिंपल डिवाइस एंड इट कैन कीप द फार्म फ्रेश फार्म वेजिटेबल्स फ्रेश अप टू फोर्टी डेज एक्सट्रीमली अफोर्डेबल ठेले पर लगा सकते हैं इसको आप नाउ डेज वी आर क्रिएटिंग सब्जी ठेला आउट ऑफ इट वैन यू विल इन योर लाजपत नगर एंड साउथ एक्स वैन यू सी सब्जी वाला कमिंग इन मोस्ट लाइकली इट विल बी यूजिंग वन ऑफ द सब्जी कोटीज एंड ऑफकोर्स इट कैन बी क्रिएटेड इन लार्ज एनवायरमेंट so some very interesting grass root level work is happening not only uh, for uh, the post produce which are both are the pre produce and post produce area but we are also doing during the production the agro shore is making the agriculture equipments there's a bomb life which is making the organic fertilizer uh, there is a industrial which is making a tractor so number of activities we are doing number of companies that we are supporting in this area LCB fertilizer is like one of the blue-eyed boys for the UP government. They are again the fertilizers. Uh, uh, they using their product, you can uh, increase the yield by up to thirty-eight five percent, which is very substantial for a small farmer. Yeah, hi, I am Subendu from Access Development Services. Uh, the innovation on soil testing is very interesting. If we want to use such kind of technology, how we can access those? what is the scalability whether if we order say suppose 50 machines or 100 machines or 100 units can it be supplied so so it is a commercially available technology you can contact us you can uh, we'll meet after the session it's a commercially available i'll put you in touch with the ceo now who is rajat vardhan the agronex company you can have a conversation with them yeah. yes please hi i am karthik we work with a lot of agro Now I just wanted to know uh, how do you, what is the process for you to realize what what the need is on the ground? Basically, do you do you have a process for that? Do you you know uh, do you send your students out to uh, go out there and look? What is the need of the what everyone needs out there? So that's a good question. How do we? So his Karthik's question was that how do we access the need of what kind of innovations we have to do? so there are two three places those challenges comes to us one is certainly the government like we speak to the government quite closely uh, quite regularly uh, they tell us that these are the challenges that we are facing for example about the data which i mentioned about or soil testing is another challenge we said or uh, the agri equipments like industrial and all which are doing so that is one uh, uh, so those challenges that we are able to get from the government then we uh, speak to the industry quite often the third is that the biggest contributor for our knowledge of our own is startups because you know somebody who is working on a startup for 6 7 years he is a world class expert on that so not only on his technology but a lot of other technologies and uh, we have now built up an ecosystem so this information keeps on coming so what we do is like there is a simple process if you have any idea uh, in fact uh, you will be surprised to know that at iit kanpur only 35% of our companies are started by iit or iitians so uh, iit or iitians 65% of our companies are uh, uh, by outsiders so it's a inclusive community you don't have to be anybody you just need a solid idea and you should be able to convince our three levels of selection process that's it it's a simple very very simple way to get in you just apply to us we will evaluate you we will talk to you we find you and some of these ideas which i have given to you they have come in a form of a half done ppt just like that you know ki like okay hum kuch karna chahte hain like i still remember ankit agarwal one of the fool guys fool founder he was and i am telling you a real story so he was on a chittur some of you have come to kanpur you will know 
the chittur is the one of the religious areas near Ch- kanpur it is recently known for uh, vikas joshi who was shot dead and he killed 21 police walas so unfortunately so is known for both the places both so it is the very near to iit gate around 10 kilometers from there so he was sitting there few years back and there was like trucks and trucks of temple flowers which were emptied into the ganga and he was quite troubled he said yeah yeah what is this happening we are talking about uh, pollution and all and this uh, temple flowers which are so called bhagwan ke charno pe chadhaye jate hain aur wo aap aise koode mein dal dete hain aap pani baha dete hain kya hota hai inka yaar can i do something about it and he started working so he came up with some ideas he did some research and he contacted our professor and we said okay let's take it up and we opened up his gate and he was not an iit graduate just uh, coming from somewhere he was resident of kanpur he set up this company and four years down the line you see is one of the most famous company in the country so if you have any idea talk to us we don't know uh, something may come up um, i have two questions uh, we know that farmers um, have been feeling less and less confident about what they grow and how they grow given due to multiple factors one of them being aggravating climate disaster how do you work alongside this existing knowledge system that farmers already have in case of precision precise farming uh, by deploying ai technologies and also a uh, play a role in enhancing it second role a uh, second question that i wanted to ask is about gene editing what is the extent of the conversation that we are having pertaining to re- having reproducible seeds which are, is completely lacking and also in case of um, allowing uh, genetically edited seeds how do we hedge the risk in terms of of what is being grown geographically and is it uh, blind to the geographical needs when it's actually policy uh, implemented in the pol- at a policy level so i'll answer your second question first genetically modified seed like indian government has a very strong view on this uh, and there are examples in the past where we have stopped american companies in doing so uh, there was a case regarding monsanto and i still remember so some of them uh, like the the current thought process about the organic farming uh, either related to the uh, uh, you know organic seeds or you know uh, organic uh, fertilizers so that's the thought process currently in the government side uh, we don't have any company uh, in seeds but we do have couple of companies in fert- uh, fertilizer area so we certainly oppose the chemical use of the fertilizer uh we want to come up with new ideas where uh you know organic or like if you look at historical like we have always agriculture uh, main economy and we have always used organic ways to produce but it was only last 50 60 years we have started using the chemicalized fertilizer so uh, can we go back to that so that's the thought process and of course we should not re- reduce the yield that we are having now the first question was related to that uh, do we work with closely with the farmers so certainly yes because all these companies that you see today they have to do rigorous testing uh, at the grass uh, at the farm level so we work with several governments we work with a big organization where they have given access we work with funding agencies and we uh, like some of the companies are located in kanpur some of the companies are located outside so we provide them access to that like one of the companies now is working on spectrography which is like using the digital uh, leds or uh, spectrometry spectrometry use uh, and doing the soil testing so we have connected to the gujarat government and then now they are getting us 3000 soil samples through that so we do that like that's our job because uh, innovators can come with an idea but innovators also don't know lot of other things for example how to get the data done or how to get the uh samples from outside how to raise the money for it so those things that is the job of the incubator that we do so certainly mai aap se baat kar bilkul sehmat hu ki jo uh, garib kisan hai wo aur garib hota ja raha hai hai na farmer suicide kam nahi ho hai farmer suicide badh rahe hain to ye ek extreme example hai farmer suicide jo farmer suicide nahi kar raha hai jo ki zinda rehna chahta hai aur mehnat karna chahta hai aise lakhon karono farmers hain aur jinki sankhya badh rahi hai ghat nahi rahi hai jaise uh, agri bill aaya tha उसमें कुछ लोगों को पसंद आया कुछ लोगों को नहीं पसंद आया तो कुछ कमी होती है कुछ अच्छी बातें होती हैं दोनों में चल होती हैं पर जहाँ तक मैंने अभी ऑब्जर्व किया है सरकार के साथ में कि सरकार ने काफ़ी ऐसे स्टेप्स लिए हैं 
जो कि फार्मर के हित में है और आ, कुछ एक फेडरल पॉलिसी को आप देखें यार कुछ इस समय अगर आप किसी भी गवर्नमेंट से बात करेंगे चाहे यूपी गवर्नमेंट से बात करें चाहे हरियाणा से बात करें दिल्ली से बात करें रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट और हु एवर सिटिंग ऑन द सीट गवर्नमेंट इज अ गवर्नमेंट पार्टी की बात नहीं कर रहे फोकस एग्री वाला है ही चाहे उस कोई बात करे कि उसको अलग अलग तरीके से बोला गया किसी ने बोला कि फार्मर इनकम डबल कर देंगे किसी ने बोला फार्मर प्रोड्यूस को बढ़ाएंगे किसी ने बोला हम लोग लॉसेस को कम करेंगे लेकिन फोकस वही है कि फार्मर जो ग्रास रूट फार्मर है उसको हमें सशक्त किया जाए जिससे कि फ़ायदा गरीब किसान को मिले और एग्रीटेक कंपनी मैं बिल्कुल एग्री करता हूं कि जो पैसे वाली कंपनी और पैसे वाली होती जाएंगी ये तो बात सच है इसमें कोई ये नहीं है दैट इज आयरनी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट हमारा फोकस ये है कि इनोवेशन को रीजनेबल कॉस्ट पर कैसे लेके आएँ जिससे कि ज़्यादा ज़्यादा किसान यूज कर सकें और एटलीस्ट एक रीजनेबल लाइफ को जी सकें क्योंकि कम से कम जो 22 परसेंट पॉपुलेशन भारत की है उनको तीन समय का खाना तो मिले